Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the Housecoat Gamer. Today, it's time for the revelations. Time to go save 709 and mock the Terray for their own stupidity. We've received a distress call from the USS Callisto, which was on a research mission in a little explored area of the Delta Quadrant. We're not sure what happened to the Callisto, but we need someone to check it out. There are a lot of people on the Callisto, good Starfleet officers and researchers. Bring them home. All right. Now, unfortunately, I am going to have to double up on ships here, mostly because of the skins, but... Eh. Might as well do something with it. And before anyone asks, this is the... Hmm. Oh yes, the Phantom Class Escort. It's even got a cloaking device. Nice ship, though, uh... A bit more fragile than, uh, most escorts I'm used to. Then again, cloaking device. This is Seven of Nine, part of a Federation research team assigned to the USS Callisto. My team and I were investigating this outpost when the defense systems activated and destroyed the ship. You know... My 720 run has an original version of her. Well, the original version of Seven. Before they decided to more closely model it on Jerry Ryan. The more you know. I am aware of your service record. Thank you for responding to our request for assistance. I was able to deactivate the outpost defenses, but the system sent out an automated distress signal upon shutdown. It is logical to assume that someone will be arriving to investigate. Please transport my team and me to your ship. I will be of more assistance to you there. <laughs> uh, it's a shame they just can't say, Your ship, your ship, your ship. Instead of just, placeholder. Long-range sensors are picking up inbound energy signatures. Voth ships. They must lay claim to this system. Lovely. Attention trespassing endotherms. You are trespassing in Voth-aligned space. Surrender now, and we will allow you to live out the remainder of your lives on a prison world. About as likely as you actually being able to win a fight against this ship. Fun fact, they can't. Come on. You can do better than that. I guess not. Hold on a moment. I guess they still haven't fixed that bug. Sorry, I figured I'd check if my traits were, uh... 
missing. These missions tend to do that. It's not like the Voth to leave a battle they would have clearly won. Or lost. I mean, they're stupid enough to engage me in battle. This is a general distress signal for any ships in range. This is the Tere homeworld. We are under attack by an unknown force of immense power. We require immediate assistance. The Tere are a spacefaring culture that Voyager encountered in 2376. They claim ownership over the Underspace, which are corridors through subspace that significantly shorten travel times here in the Delta Quadrant. Command has been attempting to contact them without success. Access to the Underspace would be a distinct advantage for our fleets. Well, the Tere are... One possibility. To my knowledge, the Voth and Tere are not enemies. However, there is still much we do not know about the Delta Quadrant. What we do know is this. The Tere deserve whatever's coming to them. You can just tell I have no love for them. For more information, they attempted to board Voyager in the uh, fifth season of Voyager, I think. We have arrived in the Tere system. The Voth ships are in combat, but they are not engaging Tere vessels. Their opposition does not conform to any known ship in the database. Oh, this is going to be funny. Also, forget Tri Cruiser. The Voth and whomever they are fighting are speaking on an open channel. We can listen to their communications. Your defense of the Tere thieves will be your undoing. The Tere and Voth have a long-standing allegiance. The Tere's exothermic nature makes them superior to the other feeble races of the Quadrant. And now you... and this kind of stupidity is what makes me want to kill the Voth. I have no love for idiots. And these guys are idiots. Then you will be loyal to the death. The surface of the Tere homeworld is being devastated by the debris from the Voth vessels. The Tere do have a defense network of satellites and shields that is capable of protecting them, but the control network is offline. This was intentional. Their attackers deliberately targeted the area during the initial assault. There is a secondary command center on the outskirts of one of their major settlements. If we transport directly there, we will be able to restore the control network. The invaders attacked this facility, but they did not do significant structural damage. They were, however, able to take down the control network controlling the orbital defense grid. That defense grid is the only thing capable of stopping all of the debris from the battle in orbit from raining down on the planet. Small pieces will burn up in the atmosphere. Your ship's weapons can deal with some others, but a significant percentage will get through. Until that grid is operational, there will be widespread devastation. Alright. The Tere kind of deserved what they got, so... Fight here. One of the Tere is injured, but his condition is stable. He may be able to give us more information about the invaders. Thank you. My name is Bellus. You're from Starfleet, right? Someone's a little, uh, offended. 
the ships emerged from the underspace, and they were too close for our defense grid to stop the launch of drop pods. In minutes, they had knocked out the grid controls and we were defenseless. We barely had time to transmit a distress signal. Which is kind of what you deserved. You are not to Ray. I cannot reveal our secrets. If I may, underspace is a network of subspace corridors that extend through much of the Delta Quadrant. Voyager was pulled into one when its warp field interacted with the corridor's radial wall. At the time, we speculated that the corridors would speed our journey back to Federation space. That was not possible. The attackers were Vardwar! Voyager did indeed interact with one of our corridors, but instead of deleting the info as we requested and going on their way, they revived our greatest enemy! All of this destruction, every death, it's all Voyager's fault. Wrong. It's your own fault. Why? What did you expect? Voyager had been boarded countless times before they even met the Terray. So, them going, no, you're not boarding our ship, you're not accessing our computers, up yours, go to hell. Very logical. So, yeah, the Terray got everything they deserved after getting their ass after this. I got no love for them. Thus always to idiots. Impossible. It cannot be the Vaudoir. I... I would know. This... this is all my fault. When we first encountered the Vaudoir, they were in cryostasis. I foolishly awoke their leader in a moment of curiosity. I didn't know their history. They were conquerors, despots. The Vaudoir used underspace to rule the Delta Quadrant for decades. It was only when the other races banded together that they were defeated. Not entirely correct. The first Vaudoir that was revived was a scientist. A technician, I think. But it wasn't Gaul, that was for sure. At the time we encountered them, when I... when I awakened them, Captain Janeway said she probably would have done the same thing. But it wasn't her choice, it was mine. I am responsible. However, the Vaudoir we encountered did not have a level of technology like what we face here. This is far beyond anything the Vaudoir are capable of developing in such a short amount of time. Gee, it sounds like they had help. My analysis remains unchanged. We need to restore functionality to the defense grid. There are four nodes located on the edge of this complex. We must restart these nodes and realign them to the central tower to re-establish the grid. I'll go to the central tower and start the initialization sequence. I blame myself for the Vaudois return. It was a door best left unopened. Well, you can blame the Ture for everything. After all, if they hadn't forced you to land on Vaudois Prime, they'd still be in cryostasis. No Complete these steps in the correct it. order to initialize and align the node. And I'm not gonna bother following your advice. First, you must access the AI subroutines. So, don't activate the AI subroutines. Startup sequencers. Because it's faster to just wipe out a squad of enemies than it is to just play a guessing game. No, I'm serious. It's faster this way. Automatic startup. Hello, my friends. Oops. <laughs> A blink established. No further hostile beams detected.
When we first rescued the Vaudois, we thought we could be allies. No further hostile Analysis danger. complete. Perform these steps in the correct order. First, you must next fu Okay, launch the... Reboot the core matrix. Because again, much faster just to do it this way. <laughs> Defense node online. I know Seven would probably object to me using Borg technology, but honestly, I don't care. Bigger army is never a bad thing. This isn't my first playthrough, guys. I have a grand total of enough reputation equipment to kill every single Whatever person on this planet. We must inform our superiors about the Vagwar threat. No further hostile beams detected. I have completed my ana- First, you must- Next, final- Plunk. <laughs> oh, as if these guys stood a chance. Kinda cute that they think they have one though. Ha <laughs> ha! No further hostile beams detected. Uplink reaction. When Admiral Tuvok asked me to leave my post at the Daystrom Institute to assist the Callisto. I thought the probability of seeing Vagwa was statistically insignificant. We had to ally ourselves with the Turei to escape the Vagwa. More like you decided to use them. Meh. It's not like they didn't deserve getting used. My analysis of this node is complete. First, you must- Next, you must- Finally. He screwed up! Kill him! Oh wait. He's killed everybody else. Uh oh. <laughs> Can you blame me for even being a little bit amused about this? I mean, constant failure isn't going to help them very much. No further hostile beams to connection reestablished. Not that you deserve it. I got no love for him. Sue me. Let's be honest, the Terray got exactly what they deserved. That being, hey, 
We forced you to go to ground. I guess that means you have to revive the Vaudoir. Ah, crap. Screwed ourselves over on this one. Join my army of the Borg! They'll come in handy in a minute. Your team did an excellent job getting the defense nodes back online and realigned to the central hub here. The restart process will take some time, but the defense grid will be active in about two minutes. No further We'd be in good shape if the Vardwar hadn't launched more assault pods. These are mobile transporter pads used to bring more troops to the surface rapidly. I assume they're coming to stop us from restoring the defense grid. You know, if you had transporter inhibitors, that would help. The Drey took control of Underspace after the Vaudois were defeated. Clearly, the Vaudois object. Vodwa reinforcements approaching. Vodwar are relentless. The probability of our survival is slim. Vodwar are tenacious fighters. We must be more. Whoopsie daisy. It is not our Voth reinforced. Whoops. No further hostile beams detected. Why leave before they finish the fight? Well, the Vaudoir are outnumbered, 20 to 1. And while the Voth don't exactly have better technology than the Iconians... Voth reinforcements have entered orbit. These Vaudois do not want to do battle with an obviously superior force. Their arrogance will be their undoing. While we did sustain great losses, we have made good on our agreement with the Terrain. Bellas, we have restored your defense grid. I'm not interested in petty squabbling about who did what. The grid is restored and we are safe. 
that's all that matters. Seven of nine. Admiral. We detected the destruction of the Callisto. What? It was your fault! Your ship invaded the Voth outpost! You woke the Vardwar! Vardwar? Interesting. Starfleet intelligence did not consider them a threat. We believe their numbers were few and their technology outdated. Then you were wrong! The Vardwar have returned. And no one is safe. I see. Seven. Voyager could use your expertise again. Will you return to the ship? That would be acceptable. Very well. We will take the other survivors from the Callisto as well. Thank you. Voyager, two to beam up. Thank you for assisting Seven and lending aid to the Jure. However, the discovery that our old foes, the Vaudoir, have made such a leap in technology and are now threatening the entire Quadrant is troubling. Thank you. Without your help, my team and I may have been killed by the Voth. Now, however, I must turn my attention to the Vaudoir. I am responsible for their return. I must assist in their defeat. You only have half the blame for that at most. The grand majority of it goes to the Terray, as usual. You can just tell I don't like those idiots. I've read Admiral Janeway's mission logs from Voyager. It would be troublesome enough to have the Vadwa return in force. They're an aggressive and difficult species. But if they have technology and forces that can defeat the Volf, this does not bode well. Oh. Housecoat Gaming, signing off.